Solar power is becoming more and more important in Britain's move towards a low carbon energy supply. Here on the roof of the Hicks building, we've actually got 36 solar panels connected to the local electricity grid powering the city of Sheffield. The problem that we have at the moment is that small solar systems like this one and systems on people's roofs are not very well mapped. When solar panels were first introduced, nobody thought they'd one day provide roughly 30% of our energy mix. So nobody had the foresight to set up a central database to keep track of all solar installations across the country. And that's proving to be a huge problem in the solar energy industry. If we don't know that a panel exists, how can we work out how much power it's generating? And if we don't know that, how can we ensure that homes and businesses will get the energy that they need reliably? Here's the demand for electricity in Great Britain. Demand goes up in the morning as we all start grabbing our showers, settles in the afternoon, and then rises in the evening as we get home from work to switch on our TVs and make a cup of tea. And here's the amount of solar power produced in the day, increasing as soon as the sun rises and then dropping back down as the sun sets. Once you take away demand that's met by solar power, you end up with what's called the duck curve, which shows the remaining demand that needs to be met. We need to be able to forecast how much power will be needed so that we have the right power stations lined up to switch on at the right time of the day. And to make up that forecast, we need to know how much power is being generated by solar panels. Here at the University of Sheffield, we're tackling this problem with a tool called PV Live. PV Live creates an estimate of the solar photovoltaic electricity generation across all of the different regions of Great Britain. This involves mapping all of the PV systems and then taking data from a smaller sample which we can scale up to give an estimate of the power generation from the full 1 million systems that have been deployed. By creating a more accurate picture of the solar power that's being generated across Great Britain, the electricity system operator, that's National Grid ESO, can predict electricity demand also with much more accuracy. Overall, this means less wasted energy and ultimately savings for the consumer. This isn't the only challenge with solar power that needs to be tackled. Making solar cells as efficient as possible and creating energy storage systems that are capable of storing large amounts of solar energy for when the sun's not shining are two really important issues that are also being researched right here in Sheffield. But even with the most advanced technology, we can't create a truly sustainable energy system unless we know how much solar power we're generating.